What's up everybody? It's the Common Sense Investor coming at you with another video and this evening I'm over here on my GameStop chart. I've drawn my lines and as you can see all the way from January we drew our wedge. We've had two downtrends recently. It got to this downtrend, it came down to the bottom of the wedge it, and it reversed itself up then it broke out of the wedge slightly and then back into the wedge. Now what's going to be important here that I believe is if you look as we narrow down into the wedge as it gets to the end it makes a decision does it want to break out or does it want to break down. And here we see ourselves narrowing the end of the wedge and it's particularly interesting to note that the end of the wedge is going to be June 2nd somewhere right here is going to be the vote on the split now if you're in GME you should have received a letter like this that they are asking the shareholders to approve an amendment to our third amend and restated cert certificate of incorporation the existing charter to increase the number of authorized shares of our common stock to 1 billion and correspondingly increase the number of authorized shares of all class of our stock to one billion five million in order to implement a stock split of our common stock in the form of a stock dividend and provide flexibility for future corporate needs. Our existing charter currently authorized the issuance of 300 million shares of common stock and 5 million shares of preferred stock. If the stockholders approve this, uh, this proposal at the annual meeting held June 2nd, Article 4th of the existing charter will be amended and restated in its entirety to read as follows. Authorized capital stock. The total number of shares of stock that the corporation shall have authority to issue is 1 billion 5 million of which 1 billion shares shall be Class A common stock and 5 million shares shall be shares of preferred stock per share issuable in one or more series as herein after provided. The number of authorized shares of class or classes of capital stock in the corporation may increase or decrease but not below the number of shares thereof then outstanding. Down at the bottom it says, if our stockholders approve this proposal at the annual meeting, we intend to file a corresponding certificate of amendment of our existing charter reflecting the approved amendment with the Delaware Secretary of State as soon as practicable following the annual meeting. Okay, When will it go into effect? As soon as they can get the paperwork sent to the Delaware Secretary of State they will be implementing if the shareholders agree except for one thing there is a monkey wrench that could be thrown into this game plan let's take a look over here and you'll see why here we see an article by the street that says GameStop stock how a split could trigger a rally now before I get started I want to add this disclaimer that I don't own any GameStop stock. I own AMC, I own Sundial. The reason I don't own Game Stock is the price. At a hundred dollars a share I could buy one share of GME or I could buy say at twenty dollars a share I could buy five AMC's stock. So I've been loading the boat up on my AMC and I haven't really paid much attention to GameStop although I know they're sister stocks and whatever happens to one usually happens to the other one in price action. So with that being said, I'm stoked about the game stock, stock split and the dividend, but I'm also cautious because I know that there's not going to be a particular catalyst that can move this stock. It's ran on algorithmic trading. With that being said, let's take a look at one of the pitfalls that could befall us in the game stock stock split wow try saying that five times fast 
The article goes on to state that GME stock dividend. There's an interesting detail in the game stop stock split proposal. The company has opted for a stock split in a shared dividend format, which implies a slightly different mechanism than a regular split. We know this. That's why we're excited. It's a dividend split. GameStop will give each shareholder one more share as a dividend. Okay? Now, you're going to get all the GME stock split, but according to this article, one share of it will be as a dividend. So, that's basically going to provide what we think is going to be an accurate share count for whenever they get ready to disperse the GME shares as a dividend, each person has to be registered and to receive that stock. But as we can go on and continue reading, we see GameStop will give each shareholder one more share as dividend. So besides the stock split, this extra dividend share for each shareholder will theoretically still double the float. But what difference does this make to GameStop stock? It turns out that short sellers who are betting against the stock will need to buy an additional share to distribute to shareholders of shares that they have sold short. Stop. What does that mean? That means that if of GME are short and this dividend is announced, Whoever shorted that stock will have to go and buy a share of GME and put in the account of the GME shareholders. Now, according to Google, GME shares that have been shorted equal about 13.5 million shares, or 21% of the float. 13.5 million shares. They will, short sellers will have to go on the market and buy that many shares, 13.5, and place that dividend stock into their accounts for them. That alone is going to cause a price increase. We know that. My first concern that I found was when I went to Investor Place. It says that when is the GameStop stock split date? What will happen to GME stock? All right. And I scroll down and I read, when is the GameStop stock split date? GameStop announced his plans for a stock split on March 31st, 2022. Before the split can be take effect, shareholders must vote to approve the proposal. This vote is set to take place during the upcoming annual meeting. The company has not yet announced the date and location for the annual meeting. Games, which they have now. GameStop also said the stock dividend must receive approval from its board of directors. Stop. This right here is sort of a concern for me. If the shareholders voted for the stock split and the dividend, the board of directors can backdoor them and they can deny it. And the only problem I have with that, I mean, I know Ryan Cohen wants it. I know everybody's wanting it. But with a trillion dollar war chest, how hard is it going to be to convince somebody on the board of directors at GameStop to vote no on the split. So that's just a concern. I mean, it's not something that's in the forefront of my mind. It's just back here that I'm keeping track of that this can still be denied. The board of directors can deny this split, even though the shareholders vote for it. So that's my concern, is if the shareholders agree and the board denies it, it's dead in the war. But this is a unique stock split. It's a unique stock dividend. Uh, it's intended to expose the shorts, but the shorts could buy the additional shares and just put them into the accounts, and nobody would be the wiser. No share count needed. Secondly, they can deny it. Uh, the reason I'm bringing this up is, just like in the past, there's been no catalyst that's going to move this stock. Except for that executive order, which I'm going to be talking about next. But as far as GME and their stock split goes, I'm excited about June 2nd. I can't wait for all of y'all to vote. It'll probably take a day or two to count the votes. And then there'll be 
I guess they'll set up on the board to determine when they're going to hear the case and make the decision. And as soon as possible, they say they're going to do it. But you're not looking at nowhere June 2nd. You'll probably have some FOMO kicking in. But other than that, no, don't expect no major squeeze happening simply because shareholders voted because that's not going to be the end. So, people, all I can tell you is continue to hold. That's what I continue to do. Like I said, I don't have any GME, but I hold my AMC waiting. <laughs> so, with that being said, I'm going to be doing the executive order one next to discuss that catalyst. Uh, but just remember, people, there is no catalyst that's going to move this stock. It's ran on algorithmic trading. Love y'all. Keep your spirits high. Continue to hold. Be blessed. And I'll see y'all in the next video.